So in this video, I'm going to help you fix this error, which comes up when you try to gracefully demote a domain controller within a domain. This happens when there is an issue with the FSMO role owner value within the AD schema. So I'm going to show you how to fix this. So you just need to go to the server, which is currently holding the FSMO role owner. And then uh, from run open ADSI edit, you can open it by typing ADSI edit dot MSC. Uh, once the management console is open, uh, we need to connect to the point and uh, I will just uh, paste it within the description. So this is what you have to do. Um, you need to replace this DC uh, with your DC and uh, we are going to look at the domain DNS zone first. Now click on OK and when you double click on it and expand it, you just right click on this value and go to properties and you will see that under FSMO role owner, there is, uh, you know, a value which is not the correct value. This is um, a reference to one of the old domain controller. So that is the reason it is failing. So we need to fix this and I'm going to check the same thing for the forest DNS zone as well. So for that, I'm going to add that as well. So here, instead of the domain DNS zone, I'm going to open the forest DNS zone. So I'm going to replace domain with FORST forest and then hit OK. Now you extend it and when you right click and go to properties for this one um, here also. Well, I fixed it, but here also you can see uh, a value which is pointing to an old or non-existing domain controller. So we have to fix this. So I have already fixed this for the forest one. I'm going to show you how we can get this value first of all and how we can fix it. So to get this value, what you have to do is yeah, you have to open the configuration container. So this is what you have to do and then click on OK. Now expand it. After expanding, you need to go to sites and um, you click on whichever site the current FSM role owner server is in. And uh, in my case, it is in this site. Now double click on the servers and I have multiple servers. So this is the server uh, which is currently holding the FSM role owner in my case. Now I'm going to click on properties and here it is. So now, uh, sorry, not this. I'm going to double click on this and I need to get the CN value for this one. So I'm going to click on properties and I'm going to copy this value. So you need to click on view and you just copy this. And once you have this, we will go back to the domain DNS zone here. We just right click on it, go to properties and we are going to add it, it and replace it with the value that we copied. So that's it. Now we have to run a sync. So I'm going to force the sync. So you have to run the command prompt or the PowerShell with admin rights and run wrap admin slash sync all to force the sync. I usually do run wrap admin sync all with ADEP parameter as well. So in this case, it will force all the connections individually. So no errors. Okay. So we are good now. Now let's try to demote the domain once again and see if our issue is resolved. So I'm back to the domain and I'm going to run the DC promo and let's see if it works now. Hit next here. Click on OK. Next. Then I'm going to give a recovery password. All right. Now let's see if it goes through. And it looks like it is. It is not throwing the error. 
by this time it used to but now it is not so that is it and this is how you can fix this error hope this helps thank you for watching the video and please subscribe and share it thank you